Hey guys, welcome back! Today we show you another new topic Sea of Thieves added to the game since the Smuggler's Fortune update. Duke's Black Market, and why this is the moment to grind as many doubloons as possible. When you talk to Duke, you can browse his stock and there you are, right away in his black market. Let's see where he's got his hands on this time. As you can see, Duke has a lot of fearless bone crusher items this time. He has ship cosmetics like the flag, hull and sails. You can also buy the fearless bone crusher dress, hat and jacket. Those are variants on the time limited bone crusher items from the past. So if you didn't collect them back then, all these variants can be bought with doubloons now. If you don't have many doubloons yet, we recommend you to start a big reaper's chest hunt. That way you can collect your doubloons to buy these cool new items. And with the smuggler's fortune update, you could also do voyages for duke in return for doubloons. When you bring in the rag and bone crates, you'll receive 5 doubloons each. You can do these voyages as many times as you want. We're not sure how this will be in future updates, but we guess there will always be a way to earn extra doubloons with the voyages from Duke. So when you want to buy everything this month, you need 475 doubloons, so make sure to grind them every time you can, then you don't need to worry next month when new items are added. They also said they will make the reaper's chests more valuable in future updates, so that possibly also means that the new items will cost more than they do now. This will also make the reaper's chests more attractive to rival pirates. So this might provoke more PvP which we love. Bring on the action! When you click on the other icon, you'll go to the page with the items that can only be bought for gold. This time you can buy the Deep Ocean Crawler Blunderbuss, Cutlass, Eye of Reach and Flintlock. They look pretty cool but are quite expensive. You might better save up some gold as well. Also keep in mind that all the cosmetics will alternate with new time limited and exclusive sets from the past and brand new items. So Duke's stock won't always be the same. It'll be interesting to keep an eye on what he has in stock. Can't wait what items he will offer the next time. So this was our quick video about the introduction of Duke's Black Market and why you should keep farming doubloons. What items would you like to see here? Let us know in the comments below the video. We're still hoping for the Ferryman and Black Dog cosmetics, so fingers crossed. Don't forget to give us a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more guides and tips and tricks videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Shiver me timbers! Yarr. Fast, Jesus!